His utterances, his words were like jewels coming out of a necklace, calculated, polished, one after the other, it would flow magically. Rabatun, he was medium in height. Your eye didn't have to strain to look up at him, nor was it tedious to look down at him. He was a comfortable sight to look at. Lahu hey guys welcome back to the channel it's a girl funny lungu back with another reaction video so today i'm going to be reacting to something that you guys suggested it's not in english so um we just have to see what the video contains a big shout out to the person that suggested this and a very very big shout out to everyone that's been supporting us throughout this journey uh we really really appreciate a big shout out to the people that have subscribed a big shout out to the people that are commenting educating us and correcting us and learning from us or listening to what we have to post or watching what we have to post and just a big shout out to everyone that's actually here right now um so if you're new to this channel make sure to give this video a thumbs up share with your friends and of course don't forget to subscribe without wasting any time let's get into the video Describe him to me And Muslims Look at the description of your Rasul And for some this would be the first time you hear What your Prophet looked like I saw a man of striking appearance Zahir al Ablaj al Radiant face Hasan al khalq Beautifully created. Lam ta'ibhu thajla. His belly wasn't protruding. Wa lam tuzri bihi sa'ala. Nor was his head disproportionate and small. Waseemun qaseem. Proportionate and delicate. Finely made. A specimen of a creation. Fi aynayhi da'aj. In his eyes there was a contrast. The dark was immensely dark. The white was excessively white. Wafi ashfarihi watf, and his eyelashes were long. Wafi sautihi sahel, and in his voice was a natural echo. Wafi unukihi sata, and his neck was elegantly long. Wafi lihiyatihi kathatha, his beard was full and thick. Azaj, akran, his eyebrows were arched. But they were not joint, it was separated. In summit, فَعَلَيْهِ الْوَقَار When he was silent, dignity covered him. وَإِن تَكَلَّمَ سَمَاهُ وَعَلَاهُ الْبَهَاء And when he spoke, it was audible and clear, almost commanding and overtaking. أَجْمَلَ النَّاسِ وَأَبْهَاهُمْ مِنْ بَعِيدٍ from afar, the most striking and outstanding in appearance. وَأَحْسَنُهُمْ وَأَجْمَلُهُمْ مِنْ قَرِيبٍ And when he came near, the best of them and the most handsome of them in closeness. حُلْوُ الْمَنْطِقِ So, such an exalted and sweet level of logic. Like when he used to speak, it was so coherently logical. It was smooth and easy to understand. Faslun la nazrun wa la hazr. He was to the point, not excessive, nor too short. Ka'anna mantiqahu kharazatu nazmin yatahaddarn. His logic, his utterances, his words were like jewels coming out of a necklace calculated polished one after the other it would flow magically Rabatun, he was medium in height your eye didn't have to strain to look up at him nor was it tedious to look down at him he was a comfortable sight to look at Lahu rufaqa bih. He had friends, the people that were with him. They were working around him to try to serve and protect him. In qala sami'u liqawlih. When he used to say something, they used to hearken to what he used to say. Wa in amara tabadaru ila amri. When he commanded, they used to compete to fulfill the command. This is Muhammad Rasulullah. This is Muhammad Rasulullah. Anas ibn Malik says, 
He says, I came out one night. Uh, I came out one night that was the full moon night. And I looked at the moon and in the desert understand the moon is, is an awesome sight. It is smooth. It is radiant. It is clear. It is gentle compared to the scorching sun but which they are used to. So the moon was the epitome of beauty. So he says, I came out at a full moon night and I looked at the, at the moon and I saw it beautiful, handsome. So I said, let me go see if the moon is more handsome or my prophet is more handsome. Let me see if that is more beautiful or the prophet is more beautiful. So I went and I saw him standing afar. So I looked at his face and I looked at the moon and I looked at his face and I looked at the moon and I looked at his face and I looked at the moon and he said, Wallahi, he was more handsome than the moon in its entirety. That, that is just the look of your Rasul. Aisha radiallahu anha says, I was sewing with the needle. My needle dropped in the dark. I couldn't find it. I said, Ya Rasul, I can't find it. He moved his face close and I swear, out of the radiance of his face, I found my needle. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam was mind bogglingly handsome. But his handsomeness was covered with waqar in Jalal in Haybah. The Sahaba say, when we used to sit at, hi, at his feet, two feelings conflicting would come on the heart. The first one, you wanted to look at him. You wanted to behold the majesty of his face. And when you wanted to look up, shyness used to overtake you, so you used to look down. Amr ibn al-As says, I sat with him many times, but if you ask me to describe his face, I can't describe it. I wouldn't be able to look up to him ijlalan wa ta'zeeman. I couldn't look up at him. And that is why he didn't have the problems that Yusuf alayhi salam had. Because it was difficult to penetrate the awe and the splendor of the Rasul. Oh, that was a very fun video. That was, um, I guess, a description of Prophet Muhammad. Um, I like the way the, he described how the Prophet has been described. It's something to think about. Like, have you like in life ever experienced or ever come across someone you just you just feel a good at what they do? I guess this is the situation where someone is so full of charisma, they know what they're doing, they don't shake, they know what they're preaching, they're confident in themselves and they respect themselves most importantly. This is how, to me, that's how I feel like they're trying to describe Muhammad here. He's just someone so calm, respectable, knows what he's talking about, he doesn't like, he just knows what he's saying. Like, they, like he said, it's like everything he said was calculated. That's that's very amazing. It's rare that I feel like it's rare to come across someone with charisma, someone who will talk and actually convince you. That's quite rare in this day because I feel like too many people are so arrogant. Okay, I've got charisma. Yes, and I'm going to convince you to listen to what I'm saying. No, we want someone who's humble, respectable, and can preach or talk in such a manner that the message is delivered nothing is complicated i'm not doubting myself at the end of the day if you're done talking i know what i want like i know my decision at the end of the day and that's how the prophet has been described that's just my opinion i mean people have different opinions but this this was a very good description but people have actually thought to describe his face but his the i mean they tried I just like the description over the funny part. I, I found it funny how the other guy looked at the moon and back at the prophet just to decide on who was the most handsome. And I guess we've got the answer in this. And that was a very, very good video. I really can't complain. It was, 
it was fun to listen to very very fun to listen to and it's nice to know that this is how people actually describe muhammad big shout out to the person that requested this and thank you i mean every day we're learning from you guys i don't even think you understand when we say this every day we keep learning new things from you guys a big shout out to the person that suggested this you're the real mvp um if you're new to this channel make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i will see you in my next reaction video